Now what we have here is a model of a real water distribution that's been modeled in water gems. We've run a EPS simulation to simulate the course of a day in this water system. And we can always get the results by the traditional water gems methods. What we can do now though that's pretty special is we have the ability to view this through an HMI from the SCADA system. So this is the kind of view of that system that you might have from an actual SCADA HMI. And what we can do here is by taking the time browser from Water Gems, we can step through the behavior to system and view it though, not as a model output, but as a SCADA HMI screen. So let's just uh, advance the time browser. And as we do that, we see values changing in the system. We see the tank level has gone into a red zone now. And as time advances, we see the tank levels falling as values get updated from the model into the uh, HMI screen. So we see at another time, another pump comes on when we realize that the SCADA system, the tank is now fairly low. Uh, the pump comes on, the tank starts to recover and increase. Another thing we can do is easily move through from one screen to another. So now we're going to move from the previous screen into an adjacent screen in a lower pressure zone that is being fed from these upper zones. And we see here that the as we advance the time, we see the values uh, changing for tank levels and flows from that upper zone down into the lower zone. So this is just an example of some of the things that you can do using uh, water gems and linking it up with a SCADA HMI system.